This presentation will provide a technology overview of VMware vSAN to include the new features and enhancements found in vSAN 7. The rapid pace of innovation with vSAN is just one of the driving forces behind it becoming the market leader in HCI. VMware gives customers the power of choice, and this continues in the hybrid cloud era. The evolution of vSphere and vSAN now means that it can be the platform of management for next-generation applications that use cloud-native storage. Data centers powered by VMware vSAN offer scalability, flexibility, and manageability to meet nearly any demand and is the cornerstone for customers looking to build a multi-cloud solution powering existing and next-generation applications. The cloud is often seen as a single destination in this journey of providing a modern and fluid environment. But the cloud is only part of the journey and not the destination. With the right software and solutions, you'll be able to realize the benefit of a platform that can run anywhere, whether it be on the edge, the core, or the cloud. It's with this approach that you'll be able to meet the various needs of an organization, as opposed to fitting those needs within the constraints of an overly restrictive solution. Selecting the right platform to address a wide variety of needs and use cases has always been a difficult challenge. Old architectures were inflexible and not accommodating for today's options. This inflexibility often transferred an additional burden on the people and processes responsible. A hyperconverged architecture can remove dependencies from hardware feature sets. By abstracting these features away from underlying hardware, you can address and apply the right settings in the right way for each workload running in the data center. As organizations are looking for interoperability with other public or private cloud environments, being able to apply these settings in a granular way using software is quickly turning into a requirement. So why is hyperconverged through VMware Cloud Foundation better than traditional approaches? Simple. The end-to-end -end solution that a vSAN-powered VCF environment provides improves on the three pillars of data center management, deployment, operations, and optimization. Data centers are not static. As demands of the application and the users that need them evolve, so should the environment that powers it. Historically, this has been difficult. This new approach transforms the challenges of legacy architectures so that deployment is fast and tailored to an organization. Operations can be performed in an outcome-oriented manner through the use of policies. The value of a solution comes from far more than just how fast it is to deploy. Ongoing changes are the norm for a data center. VMware's approach follows a maxim often used in the world of fast-paced software development. Design as if you know it's going to change. VMware VCF environments powered by vSAN. Hybrid cloud means interoperability, agility, and efficiency. We believe there are distinct steps in this journey to building a true hybrid cloud. Fortunately, there are steps you can take to get there. The first step has been achieved by most, as they've already experienced the benefits of virtualizing the majority of their workloads. The use of public clouds may also be a key part of your organizational needs. Workloads in public clouds often become another silo to manage, and typically are not integrated in any on-premises management tools or methods. Data centers are complex, and the cloud adds to this complexity. The next step is to modernize your infrastructure through hyperconvergence with vSAN. Then add networking and advanced management capabilities with NSX and vRealize. Finally, extend your SDDC to the public cloud and to the edge to adopt a true hybrid cloud architecture. This approach abstracts operational differences away from where workloads will be running and provides a common control and management plane to give administrators the agility in delivering services to their businesses. A true hybrid cloud architecture consists of software technologies that allow virtualized workloads independence from their physical location, whether it be in the core data center, the edge, or the cloud. Next, a control management plane has to provide a consistent management experience so that users can focus on desired outcomes instead of management nuances of a siloed data center. From there, common tools can be used across the digital foundation that enables organizations to better respond to their needs and do so with consistency and confidence. Today, VMware's solution stack offers the levels of flexibility that is needed for today's rapidly changing needs. It's built off a foundation of VMware vSphere powered with vSAN. This provides the basis for a fully software-defined storage and virtualization platform 
that removes dependencies from legacy solutions using physical hardware. Next is VMware Cloud Foundation, the integrated solution that provides the full stack of tools for an automated private cloud. And finally, there's VMware Cloud on AWS, the same software that you already know, living in Amazon Web Services and providing consistent operations to all the existing workflows used in your private clouds. The result is a complete solution regardless of the topology. The power of choice is extended to how vSAN can be consumed by the customer. Let's take a look at what those options are. The power of VMware's SDD stack becomes evident when we look at the multiple consumption models available. A customer may be familiar with an on-premise consumption model such as VMware Cloud Foundation. From there, an organization may like the appeal of a cloud subscription model, but have requirements to keep the hardware on-premises. This is where the VMware Cloud on Dell EMC comes into play. This is an all-inclusive service that is jointly owned and operated by VMware and a hardware partner that eliminates hardware or software asset ownership. Or, a customer might like the elasticity of extending their environment by using VMware Cloud on AWS, fully managed and off-premises. In on-premises environments, where a customer will be utilizing purchased hardware and software, the way that vSAN is delivered to a customer is dependent on whatever suits their needs best. This is why the power of choice is so important. Some want to simplify purchasing, deployment, and management with simple SKUs. And this is where VxRail comes into play. Others may have a preference of server vendor and would like to maintain that consistency as they adopt vSAN. This is where vSAN ready nodes can be a great option. These consumption models offer a great set of choices that fit the needs of the organization in the best way possible. Let's take a look at how VMware vSAN removes all of the characteristics that made designing, operating, and optimizing storage for virtualized environments so difficult. vSAN is VMware's software-defined storage solution built from the ground up for vSphere virtual machines. It abstracts and aggregates locally attached disks in a vSphere cluster to create a stored solution that can be provisioned and managed from vCenter and the vSphere web client. vSAN is hyper-converged, that is, storage and compute for VMs are delivered from the same x86 server platform running the hypervisor. It integrates with the entire VMware stack, including features like vMotion, HA, and DRS. VM storage provisioning and day-to-day -day management of storage SLAs can all be controlled through VM-level policies that can be set and modified on the fly. vSAN delivers enterprise-class features, scale, and performance, making it the ideal storage platform for VMs. The efficiency in delivering storage is one of the true secrets behind the power of vSAN. This tremendous efficiency means that vSAN can run more VMs per host than any other HCI system not integrated into the hypervisor. And not only that, but do with much more consistent levels of performance. This ability to scale up and out means that users can strategically design their vSAN-powered cluster to accommodate the growth that best reflects the needs of their organization. vSAN 7 extends and enhances the cloud-native storage capabilities first introduced in vSAN 6.7 U3. With vSAN 7, we take the new native file service feature provided in vSAN and allow containerized applications to deploy and use file-level persistent storage. Persistent volumes are now able to support the use of encryption and snapshots. vSphere 7 also supports vVol support. All of these integrations are critical to the benefits provided by vSphere add-on for Kubernetes, formerly known as Project Pacific, VMware's initiative to allow customers to build, run and manage modern cloud-native applications on Kubernetes inside vSphere. Here's what cloud-native storage management looks like in vCenter when running in a vSAN-powered cluster. We see that the persistent container volumes are enumerated just as VM objects are. We can see near the top of the screen that it identifies what type of container provider is being used for the selected volume. Clicking on the details will identify which Kubernetes cluster they are associated with, as well as the attributes or labels associated with that volume. Treating container volumes as first-class citizens allows for administrators to easily incorporate procedures common with VM management to containers using persistent storage. vSAN is a critical part of the cloud journey. It allows you to build environments and drive the outcomes that you're looking for. Simplicity, efficiency, cost-effectiveness, and agility. 
And remember, you're able to achieve this using software you already know. This is the same software that you've been able to build existing infrastructure with and has earned your trust in stability, operations, and protection that is required. VMware vSAN is an object-based storage system integrated into VMware vSphere. Virtual machines that live on vSAN storage are comprised of a number of storage objects. VMDKs, VM home namespace, VM swap areas, snapshot delta disks, and snapshot memory maps are all examples of storage objects in vSAN. vSAN uses the concept of RAID tree to ensure protection of objects. A component is the leaf of an object's RAID tree, and it's how redundancy is provided to a given object. Components may be split into smaller components depending on environmental conditions and the size of the objects. Deduplication and compression is a great example of a software feature that may defer buying additional hardware to satisfy capacity requirements. vSAN's implementation of deduplication and compression was intended to be extremely simple. The toggling of the features are enabled or disabled together as an overall space efficiency feature. Deduplication and compression, available for only all Flash configurations using the Enterprise Edition of vSAN, can quickly change the economics of Flash to a level that makes the effective price per gigabyte of storage as affordable or more affordable than hybrid configurations. Addressing changes in requirements can be a challenge and a potential risk for data center administrators. Requirements around security can often make compliance a much more challenging endeavor. By addressing concerns such as security of data natively in the hypervisor, one can have the confidence that VMware vSphere running vSAN can address those concerns efficiently and effectively using software that they already know. This is exactly what vSAN offers, data at rest encryption that is built right into vSAN, easily enabled by a few clicks of a mouse. Storage policy-based management, SPBM, is extremely easy to implement. Creating a storage policy is nothing more than defining what your requirements are for a VM or a collection of VMs. These requirements are typically around protection and performance of the VM. A new policy can be created in vCenter and accessible for use by any VM managed by the vCenter server. Once an SPBM policy is created, the policy can quickly be applied to a VM. The VM will adopt the new performance and protection settings without any downtime. One can change the characteristics of an existing policy, and the VM will adopt the most recent settings of the policy. Let's take a look at how VMs can be managed when removing some of the constraints of traditional storage systems. Doesn't it make sense to control storage resources on a per-VM basis in the hypervisor, just as you do for CPU and memory? Traditional storage solutions simply couldn't offer this level of control and were limited to providing one-size-fits-all approaches to storage performance and protection. This is where VMware storage policy-based management comes into play. Levels of protection and performance are no longer reliant upon the capabilities of an external storage system, but will now be controlled and managed by the hypervisor. Furthermore, this management paradigm fits perfectly into addressing the needs for container-based workloads running on vSAN. One can easily provide a method so that Kubernetes clusters can be deployed easily while ensuring that the correct levels of performance and resilience are provided. Storage policy-based management is about ease and agility. Traditional architectural models relied heavily on the capabilities of an independent storage system in order to meet protection and performance requirements of workloads. Unfortunately, the traditional model was overly restrictive in part because standalone hardware-based storage solutions were not VM-aware and were limited in their abilities to unique settings to various workloads. Storage policy-based management lets you define requirements for VMs or collections of VMs. This SPBM framework is the same framework used for storage arrays supporting VVOLs. Therefore, a common approach to managing and protecting data can be employed regardless of the backing storage. A new way of storing data often invites questions on how vSAN achieves this. Let's look in more detail at data placement and protection when using vSAN. vSAN has two methods of protection that historically was the responsibility of a storage array. vSAN, paired with storage policy-based management, allows the user to define these settings on a per-VM or per-VMDK basis, an unprecedented level of flexibility that was impossible with legacy storage systems. 
When defining the level of failures to tolerate, one of two data placement schemes can be used, RAID 1 mirroring or RAID 5-6 erasure coding. RAID 1 mirroring is shown here. Failures to tolerate, FTT, defines the number of failures that the object can handle while still maintaining data availability, albeit with reduced redundancy. Unlike RAID 5-6 erasure codes, mirroring results in multiple copies of the object across more than one host to provide resilience. Another method of achieving resilient data is by setting the level of failure to tolerate by using the RAID 5-6 erasure coding. This is where data components are striped across multiple hosts with parity information written to provide tolerance of a failure. Parity is striped across all hosts. An FTT equaling 1 implies a RAID 5 stripe with parity, and an FTT 2 implies a RAID 6 stripe with double parity. While vSAN refers to it as a RAID 5 6 when done over the network using software only, it's more appropriate to refer to it as erasure coding. This is done inline. There is no post-processing required. VMware's implementation of erasure coding stripes the data with parity across the minimum number of hosts in order to comply with the policy. RAID 5 will offer a guaranteed 30% savings in capacity overhead compared to RAID 1. Unlike RAID 1 mirroring, striping with parity technique results in a single object with data parity inside of the object spread across multiple hosts. Fault domains are a boundary of failure. vSAN extends this concept of fault domains so that environments can protect against failures such as a rack failure. It gives an administrator the ability to define a logical container that represents a physical topology of a data center. The most common way fault domains are employed are by creating fault domains that represent a rack in a data center, as imaged here. The vSAN data would be distributed across multiple fault domains so that in the event of a total rack failure, no system would be compromised. vSAN takes this concept of fault domains to protect an environment from downtime in the event of a site failure. vSAN's ability to provide a fully active-active stretch cluster has already proven its value in data centers. vSAN provides the capability for storage redundancy within a site and across sites at the same time. This helps deliver effective, affordable protection against the entire site outage as well as host outages within a site. This level of protection is extraordinary and what many of our customers have asked for. Lower TCO is the result of no need to purchase additional hardware or software while addressing protection requirements with software you already know. Remote Office and Branch Office, Robo, is a common geographic model for many organizations. vSAN makes it easy to run a two-node vSAN cluster to provide all of the storage needs in these branch offices, while using the primary site as the location to house the witness appliances. This makes for a fast, affordable, and flexible management and delivery of services in environments that requires this type of topology. Additionally, vSAN Robo Edition licensing has no host limit restrictions. There is only a restriction of the number of VMs that may be run in a site. A maximum of 25 VMs can be run in a single site or across sites. Any multiple of 25 requires an additional 25 VM pack license. There is no upgrade path from vSAN Robo licenses to regular CPU or desktop vSAN licenses. Active Active Data Centers using stretch clustering is ideal for situations where you need an RPO of zero. If there are additional data center needs, such as failover to another remote site, vSAN can take advantage of other capabilities provided by vSphere Replication and SRM to protect a site in addition to or instead of stretch cluster arrangement. All of these tools are software defined and do not rely on any hardware specific functionality, a key ingredient to creating an agile data center. Consumer technology and consumer expectations have driven change to our expectations of technology at work. This understanding helps shape how vSAN operates so that the focus remains on outcome and not nuances of a particular environment that make management difficult and prone to mistakes. How vSAN presents storage can dramatically improve how environments are deployed, operationalized, and optimized. Let's see how. VMware has used simplicity as an inspiration behind its holistic approach when looking at deployment, operation, and optimization of a vSAN environment. 
everything from day zero deployment activities as well as day one and day two operations have been integrated with vSAN to drive up operational efficiency and drive down TCO. Part of this is achieved through the use of cloud connectivity integrated into several aspects of vSAN. Ensuring a flexible deployment model for a vSAN-powered environment means that all types of deployment conditions must be accommodated for. vSAN now includes a quick start guided cluster creation and extension wizard in vCenter that guides the user through the deployment process for vSAN and non-vSAN clusters. The vCenter HTML5 UI now provides an easy step-by-step -step configuration to create and configure a production-ready vSAN cluster. It covers every aspect of the initial configuration, such as hosts, network, and vSphere settings. Quick Start also plays a part in the ongoing expansion of a vSAN cluster by allowing a user to easily add additional hosts to the cluster. For greenfield environments, the Quick Start wizard will follow the vSAN Easy Install wizard, introduced in vSAN 6.7. Easy Install is a part of the VCSA installer and allows the user to easily build a brand new vSAN cluster, starting off with just a single host, and the newly deployed vCenter server living on the single node vSAN cluster. Quick Start offers the next step to complete the process of a multi-node production-ready vSAN cluster. vSAN Easy Install and Quick Start make for a complete end-to-end -end guided installation and configuration experience for the initial and ongoing configuration of vSAN clusters. vSAN Health is a cloud-connected mechanism integrated through vSAN. While it is most visible within the Health menu when monitoring a vSAN cluster, it is integrated throughout the product to provide the administrator with the latest checks and remedies for optimal reliability and performance. Health checks test all aspects of a vSAN environment and provide prescriptive suggestions on how to remedy an issue. Most importantly, VMware can provide continuous updates to this health check framework. Since it uses VMware Cloud Analytics, VMware can introduce new health checks without a need to update vSAN. vSphere 7 introduces an entirely new solution for unified software and firmware management that is native to vSphere. vSphere Lifecycle Manager, or VLCM, is the next generation replacement to vSphere Update Manager, VUM and is built out of a desired state or declarative model and will provide lifecycle management for the hypervisor and the full stack of drivers and firmware for the servers powering your data center. VLCM is a powerful new approach to creating simplified, consistent server lifecycle management at scale. VLCM was built with the needs of vendors in mind. These vendors are able to provide their specific lifecycle updates through our framework using a plugin that can easily be installed by the customer. vSAN Support Insight enables an improved customer support experience by proactively providing VMware Global Support Services, GSS, with data about a customer's vSAN and vSphere environment. This data is anonymized and then uploaded to VMware's Analytics Cloud, where it is processed and converted to useful information such as configuration specifics, performance, and health status. GSS can get to the troubleshooting effort faster when less time is spent on gathering the data. What does this mean for a vSAN customer? Faster time to resolution and a direct way to help VMware improve the product experience. vSAN aims to provide as much intelligence as possible about the state of the vSAN storage environment all within the vCenter UI. With vSAN, you get a clear understanding of key data related to available capacity, capacity used, and a distribution of what is consuming the space. vSAN also presents a number of in-depth storage performance metrics. vSAN takes advantage of its integration into the hypervisor by not only showing back-end storage-related performance metrics, but interleaving this with VM-related performance metrics that are powered by vSAN. vSAN performance metrics detail many of the key metrics that are important to understanding system performance while providing them all in vCenter and without the need for additional tools. VMware has always believed strongly in the API-first approach. A robust command line interface is important for not only automation at scale, it provides programmatic consistency across any size of an environment. vSAN customers will see improvements to PowerCLI commandlets that are intended to replace Ruby vSphere console. PowerCLI has proven to be a flexible way to interface with vSAN and expanding its capabilities will improve efficiencies in administration of a vSAN environment. 
The ongoing PowerCLI improvements in vSAN make it even more easy to administer using the widely popular PowerCLI interface. vRealize takes advantage of the collection of APIs from vCenter and vSAN to provide the integration abilities offered by vRealize. It is the deep level of integration that allows infrastructure analytics offered by VROps and Log Insight to see the right data and provisioning automation offered by VRA to work across different types of topologies. Changes in the data center are happening elsewhere and will be a topic that you may find yourself discussing very soon as well. vSAN is one of the first and most important steps in preparing your data center to be fully software defined, enabling you to run a true hybrid cloud environment in order to accommodate the very latest demands of your organization. Before you decide which path is right for you, there are some steps you can take to learn more about vSAN and vSAN powered HCI solutions. First, if you still aren't sure about the fit, or right size of vSAN for your environment, your organization can sign up for a free vSAN assessment. This is a tool our team can help you load to get a clear understanding of your environment and some specific recommendations. Next, if you just want to play around with the solution a bit, then we have a free online hands-on lab available 24-7. This lab offers an easily accessible way of interacting with the product that requires minimal effort. Test Drive allows users to explore vSAN in a real high-performance environment. This is an ideal platform for testing proof of concepts through an accredited VMware partner. Test Drive helps reduce the need to run on-premises testing and evaluations to help answer the customer's questions more quickly. And if you're already sold, then look into the right deployment option for you and contact your sales or partner rep to get started. VMware Storage. Real. Today. <laughs>